Hello, Internet. Hello, Sam. And welcome back to After Campfire, where I've been in this room essentially nonstop for a long time. We're in quarantine time, and Sam is not happy that my last question to him was about coronavirus because he doesn't want to be thinking about it all the time. But since I asked it about... Asked about it, that means I have to answer about it. So my video was also going to talk about it a little bit. Just a bit. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. So I haven't actually been in my apartment even the entire past week. Um, from last Friday to set to... Wait, was it Friday or Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday to Wednesday. Um, I actually went down to LA because... My sister is also working from home right now, and her friend had a wedding in two weeks. It's not happening anymore. <laughs> so she's like, hey, I could work from home from LA, and then I'll just already be there for the wedding. So I was like, hey, I'll come back also, and then we can hang out. But I also want to be back by Thursday for my game night thing. And then I realized, hmm, I don't want to be at my game night thing right now, because... Social distancing. We gotta, you know, not hang out with people right now. And luckily, I am relatively good at that because sometimes I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna stay home and play video games literally, literally all day. Unfortunately, I don't have a game that I'm hooked on right now, which is a bummer because, oh man, if like a new Fire Emblem or Zelda came out right now, I would just be playing that and playing it and playing it and not caring at all because this is what I would have been doing anyways. Um, unfortunately for me, that is not the case. And unfortunately for me, aside from Animal Crossing, which came out on Friday, which is the absolute perfect game for this situation, Except for the fact that I don't really like Animal Crossing and that style of game. Um, like, every now and then I'll get a little bit, like, interested in one of them. Like, I did play the 3DS one a little bit. I played Stardew Valley for, I don't know, like, five hours maybe just because I liked farming. Like, I'm just not really big in the, like, the game is just to exist in this world and just kind of sit around and just keep farming and keep making your house look pretty. Like... It's not really my style of game, um, even like, or I'd rather play something more action-oriented or an RPG or something, something with a very conclusive end, so yeah, I'm kind of just not having a good game to play right now, so I'm kind of trying to force myself to get more into the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC, Torn of the Golden Co or Country or co whatever, um, I played the first, like, four hours of that game, that DLC pack, which is basically an entire separate campaign, which is neat, as a character in it, as the main character, who was a character I was really interested about learning in the main story. So, cool. Um, that's fun. I just wish I had something a little bit more. I really wish, like, a game for me was coming out. And unfortunately, with all of this going on, any game that would have come out is probably gonna get delayed. Like, I had my mindset on Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 or the sequel, whatever you want to call it, coming out this holiday, but there were rumors that it was happening and then more rumors that it got delayed, but they were going to try to make it happen because Nintendo needs a big holiday party a title for this year. And now it's definitely delayed, so good thing they haven't announced a release date. And also, just, I don't know, I just want another Nintendo Direct. There were rumors that a new Paper Mario was going to come out, and that would make me super excited, except for the fact that it wouldn't be coming out for a long time. Uh, I guess enough about Nintendo and stuff. So my question to Sam was basically, what would I do to manage the coronavirus if I was in charge of the country? And Sam basically said, like, the gist of basic things that I would do as well, like... Uh, take it seriously from the beginning, have people self-quarantine earlier, have it be universal, have people who are not going to be able to work covered, including the companies and, like, their rent. Like, there are weird cases about the companies that, like, won't be hit as... I know, like, the airline industry is, like, a really hot topic right now because, like, they use... I don't know the details exactly, but I know... They've, like, used a lot of their excess profits that they've gained from making... Oh, sorry, I thought there was, like, two stray dogs, but no, there was a woman walking them. I'm like, no, they're cute, gimme. Um, 
Anyways, uh, there were concerns that the airline industry was not using their money correctly. They were, like, making flights worse to make more profit, to just buy back stock instead of, like, anything more helpful or, like, anything to, like, make sure that they were safe in a situation like now where people are traveling less. And there's... I don't really under... I don't really know... It's, to me, it's a gray area where, like, the government should step in to help industries like this and how much they should help themselves, the companies. Because I kind of feel like the role of the government in this situation should be, like, why we have a government in the first place is to support literally everyone in case of emergency. So, like, in the case of a war, the army fights for everyone. It's not like companies need to pay their war tax to make sure that they're also covered. Like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of, like, shady things that companies and corporations do sometimes. But I don't really think that not helping those industries is right. I don't really know. It's weird. Uh, But, yeah. So, again, yeah. Take it seriously from the beginning. Very seriously. Like, I remember, like, three weeks ago, before my first week at my new job, I was, like, going to the supermarket to buy food. And I was already panic buying, like, two weeks before, like, any of, like, the major panic buys began. Because I'm like, oh, this is going to be huge. Like, the fact that we can have exponential growth without detecting it is absolutely terrifying. And I know, like, a lot of people online were just trying to get others to, like, oh, stop overreacting. It's like, yes, some people are panicking and it's a problem. But also, it's a virus that spreads without showing symptoms. That's really scary. Exponential growth without being able to tell how big it is. It's really scary. Also, testing. Holy crap, why are we not testing literally everyone? Like, I know, like, we have to build up the ability to do that. But that is something that we should have been already doing because we already knew that it was going to be a big problem. Ugh, okay. Anyways, so that was my answer for me. So Sam, he asked me basically, like, if I could just, if I wanted to have my, like, secret getaway where no one can find me and I just wanted to exist away from the rest of the world, where would it be? And funnily enough, the best example I could kind of think of of a place like that that I've already been is, like, Sam's uncle and aunt's house. <laughs> Um, so pretty much, there was one day at camp, Sam was miserable this night, um, where we were on a night day off, we were trying to find a hotel to stay at for the night in this area where we were gonna hang out in the next day, but it turned out there was, like, a music festival or something there, and we couldn't find literally anywhere to stay, so we ended up contacting Sam's relatives, because they had a house nearby, and we stayed there overnight. It was... A bit of drama because we had to call them really late and Sam really didn't like having to ask his family for such a favor but luckily he, that was a possibility and the place was nice and there was like just nature everywhere like we could just explore the forest and like there was like a little creek and we just like walked around I was actually like sick at the time hey very fitting um so I'm just like I just enjoy just being out in nature, even though I injured my knee, which is, like, a thing that, like, like, I slipped and fell on a rock, and it hit, hurt me so deep, or cut me so deep, that it took years to heal all the way, which is fun, but that's really what I want, just, like, I don't want to be staying in a tent, if it's, like, my getaway, and not just, like, a fun camping adventure, it's just a getaway, um... Like, I would want to have internet and stuff, too, just because, like, I'm a techie person. I enjoy having that in my life. I don't need to be completely dis- disconnected from technology, if even if I'm trying to be solitary at all. And I just want to be able to walk around in nature and, like, clean forest air and just exist. Like, it's just something about, like, nature walks are kind- is just, like, a thing that I like to do, especially if I'm not feeling good. Like, when I was at camp, anytime I was sick... I wouldn't just, like, stay in the cabin. I would just kind of walk around the woods in all the routes that no one really goes just because I that makes me feel better. I don't want to just be cooped up on in a bed. I want to, like, just breathe in fresh air and move my body around. But, yeah. <laughs> um, 
That's my answer. There is another funny thing I want to bring up, which was, like, this week, we finally got the announcement, and I mean finally after, like, eight or nine years, that the Bleach anime is finally finishing. Like, it's finally getting the final arc animated. And this is something I've been... I, I've been very confident that would it would happen eventually, but I had no idea when, and, I'm, and I just really wanted it because Bleach's anime is really cool, and the final arc, for the most part, is really cool. There's definitely some problems. I really hope they change the end because the ending got really rushed because Bleach got essentially cancelled at the end, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that. And also, Burn the Witch, the spinoff of Bleach, is getting an anime, and that's also really exciting, because the one-shot for that was really interesting, and the characters were cool, and, like, awesome! It's, it's Bleach in England! Cool! Um, so that's just really exciting. And one of my friends was really surprised how excited I got by this, and... I told him, sadly, that one of the main reasons why that was the case is that I haven't had a whole lot to get, like, giddy and super excited about in a little while, other than, like, yeah, new job, but, like, a new really awesome job. Have I mentioned how awesome my job is here? Like, I'm still learning. It's still rough, especially working remotely to learn everything I need to do, but, like, everyone is so nice. They're so nice. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And yeah, it's just cool. I tur turns out one of my friends from like middle school is like also working at Disney, which I, I I knew that from like Facebook and stuff, but I didn't think about that. I think she might've worked at like ABC before they merged. And I don't actually know when ABC and Disney merged, so maybe not. Um, but like she messaged me because Seattle is hitting, getting hit really bad by the virus. And she's like, yo, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I am. Wait a second, we're coworkers. And then she messaged me on the inside, like internal, like, Disney community, or Slack, and I'm like, this is really cool! Anyways, um, sidetracked, talking about di or Bleach and getting excited and stuff. My question to you, Sam, is, what is something that, like, you didn't expect to be, like, randomly really giddy about? Like, I know for me, it's like, as far as, like, entertainment and games, like, since Avengers Endgame, pretty much. And yes, Spider-Man Far From Home came out, and that was good, but it wasn't great, and it's, like, not something I was super separately excited for, because it was announced long before the Avengers Endgame. So since then, and also I haven't... Black Widow I have weird feelings about, because that movie should have happened five years ago. Um, so, and, again, ex until since Fire Emblem last year, like, I haven't had a game that I've been super hyped about. So, like... It was nice to have something to get hyped about, even though it's kind of silly, because Bleach is a... It's gonna be a weird, weird time to have Bleach come back. Um, so, sorry, I'm like, I keep distracting myself. What is something that got you really surprisingly giddy that you didn't expect to? I know you want some lighter questions, so there you go, Sam. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you're hanging in there. Um... At home. Also, I want to brag for a second for anyone who watches this. I got this in a pack. This is like a one hundred twenty dollar card. I'm so excited! Woo! All right. <laughs> for anyone who plays Magic, Mystery Boosters just came out. I bought a box, and that was in my box, and that's the most valuable card in the entire box, and that makes me really happy. This video went on way too long, but I'm very energetic, so that's good. I'm surviving being quarantined. Yeah, it's going to be weird because it's probably going to continue for at least a month. Goodbye, everyone, especially Sam. Please hang in there. Okay, bye.